we have a lovely beautiful summer it means rain all day okay uh, so we start I start testing and running the 12 volt system generally electric inside the camper van generally battery I talked about fusing and battery assembling earlier for people who don't see it or don't wanna see it this boring stuff is battery over the battery is the main fuse here that's going to the switch main switch this is the back of the switch it's accessible from outside right now all covers are taken out and we have BMS here also was some video about it and this is BMS relay type relay type BMS okay so first of all I wanna check if all bolts like that is tight this small bolts big bolts and disconnect few things which I don't want to connect yet. So let's say we have main fuse and fuse, one fuse which protect protect the switchboard fitted. This is only one fuse that are fitted in the system. Right now, what I wanna do is switch on BMS. this fault of BMS is a kind of problem to test everything oh we can test it so batteries are at least at 70% so we have enough power to test everything but mm, I have to be I have to be more careful when I testing just to to tell the truth everything is fused my stupid thinking so BMS have to be <laughs> okay I try to wake up it in a hundred possibilities nothing work so I have to order a new one I am not happy at all anyway it's a panel day so we feel testing we finish with testing we I repair the all my faults or my mistakes or places where I change mine and forget about it is a connector for this kitchen panel just oh, upside down water inverter and switch control lamp and switch fridge this kit free switch Okay, so I will test it when I finish the change in the water system. Ay, ay, ay. I forgot to drain the <laughs> boiler and disconnect the, the water pipe on the bottom. Like I said, I wanna make it more flex. So, anyway, half of the liter water on the floor and right now I'm draining boiler here is already fitted this panel All right now battery is disconnected my main 
my little switch but the switch on the system is a space for BMS display and uh, here is a future solar panel I have no solar panel on the roof but his panel is ready of course in the meantime I testing my car battery because it shows something stealing power so I have to investigate why is after two or three days the battery is almost dead so uh, because it's a urban legend about problems with airbag controller if you disconnect in a wrong moment this battery etc etc to simplify things I use the backup battery so I connect this plus to plus just to make it parallel okay it's connected and minus I connect here with some problems of course keeping keeping okay and this let's say I switch on on amps because for sure will be more than 200 milliamps will be more and right now I connect it to the ground and right now two battery is parallel and this one the small one the min minus goes to the ammeter and right now I disconnect okay and right now we have real real consumption of, of, of van okay so right now is 200 mil it was and right now going to 53 53 is okay from time to time car check what's going on on a can bus and wake up the can bus but right now can bus are asleep 53 is okay so means it's not Ducat itself it's just battery are almost dead this means he have internal shortage and discharge itself and we have to check one thing more it means how it behave when I lock the car because sometimes the problem when you close the car and who knows what is going on okay I have to where well, I have the key okay so right now I shut the door and two short hand Okay. Going down. Right now, probably light is switch off, but dimmer works because for some time it's keeping lights on. It lights is off, but dimmer works, so it means it's consumed some some power. quite long maybe here is a problem we we'll take a look quite long it's over one minute minute with with sec oh, okay go down it's something bit above over 
Oh, it wasn't dimmer. Dimmer keeps keeps longer. Okay, but I just shut the door. Let's try it close by the central lock. Ah. Definitely, when I lock it by central lock, it's longer, bit longer, and it's go down to 52. It's a standard. So, final conclusion is is not problem with car itself because I expect. Sometimes a problem with some models in a radio circuit, so if it will consume more power, too much, too much power, I wanna start pulling out the fuses. But right now is 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 perfect. 52 is is okay. Up to 70 for for Ducato is okay. 70 milliamps. Right now it's 52, so it's okay. So it means I have to purchase new battery. Much better than purchase a new model of something. Which means I have to replace the car battery. One word about these fuse boxes. No, this fancy, fancy fuse boxes with LED light, which show you which fuse are broken, is from one side is okay. It simplified something, but. If you have real deep, deeper problem in in a installation in a harness, it can be a bit confusing because right now, if we have more complicated circuits because of LED, the current going through different looms, and finally we some, some, sometimes we don't know what for what we're looking. I show you something. Right now we have this fuse is fitted. Yeah. Wait a second, I connect this kitchen panel. Okay. Kitchen panel is fitted and it's okay. Yeah. And here we have focus please. It works okay. It means we have water pump right now. Slide, no light. But when we pull out this fuse and this fuse is only powering some of LED light because this LED is not in a made circuit. You see? It's lighting. When So means this fuse boxes is okay, but you have to remember. So when it's no fuse or fuse are broken, you can get different strange results sometimes, somewhere, or even not notice when this fuse was 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 burnt.